Ha ha! Good morning, beautiful spirits. Listen to my Magnus. Segment of pure pugilism. Boxing logic. Heard the new news. Tyson Fury. 80 million pound. My apologies, not 80 million dollars. 80 million pound deal with ESPN and top rank. Wow, so I guess he will have joint promoters, I assume. A joint promoter thing with Bob Arum and Frank Warren. That's what's up. First time seeing something like that going on. That's going to be quite interesting. I would like to see how they market Tyson Fury to the United States. He had a one fight here, but still, he's relatively unknown as well. To the casuals. Big time to the casuals. While he was heavyweight, I didn't know who he was. Although I believe he never had a title defense, correct? Because soon as he beat Klitschko, paraphrasing his own words, he thought that was like, top of the pinnacle why he felt that way I'm curious to understand I saw his little documentary a little a while back and he said he just wanted his goal was to beat Klitschko and that's it and I guess after he accomplished his goal he felt like there was no more to accomplish not undisputed or anything which is very 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 crazy Plus, the politics is wild, too. We understand that. But I was, I'm very, very curious to see what make how they make these fights happen with Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Dylan White, and so on. It's probably be easier to make the fight with Dylan White since Dylan White do not fight on Dazzin. So I expect Tyson Fury to fight Dylan White very soon. Somebody like Dylan White or Brazil. Pretty soon. And um, he's gonna have to look very, very, very impressive with the deal or not. Because like I said before, um, in a previous video talking about Tyson Fury, Joshua, and Wilder about this 50-50 split, purse splits, and all of that. Fury does not look the part, in my opinion. Okay? Fury does not look the part of a just iconic heavyweight champion. Okay? And sad to say, but we're talking about America and the Western Hemisphere. And it's very, very, very superficial and pretentious. And Fury just not look the bill unless he's gonna get crazy muscle bound. Look like a Tommy Morrison or something. Which Tommy Morrison, he looked the part, should I say. Tommy Morrison looked the part of a heavyweight champion of this day and age in the United States of America. You know what I'm saying? Joshua looks the part. Wilder, he can. It's still a, it's not as much as a reach for Fury. And it's not just that Fury, like I said, is white. If he looked like a Tommy Morrison, who they was, back in the day, was ready to give the whole kitchen sink to. Tommy Morrison, a brolic, you know what I'm saying? Playboyish, white boy, looked apart. Um, it's not about color here. It's about physical stature, um, particular, particular demographics, and things you want to play to. Tyson Fury can't play the Playboy thing because he's married with what five, six children. So certain things they uh, bullshit uh, valences, bullshit valences they want you to portray as the heavyweight here, and. Um, 
Tyson Fury don't fit most of them, but he's a hell of a trash talker. His mouthpiece is perhaps bar none, number one. Bar none, number one, as far as trash talking ability. So, um, he got that going for him. And that could be enough to take him over the top because he's a hell of a talker. He's definitely, definitely on point with that. The gift of gab is bar none, number one, I say again. Um, but the Wilder rematch is off, I guess. Or maybe it is on. We, let's see and wait what happens. Okay? This is, um, that means Wilder's going to have to take, going to either fight Brazil, the winner of Brazil, and your boy Dylan White. Most likely, right? Or maybe they'll bring Pavekin over to fight Tyson Fury. He's willing. They could bring Big Bring, bring Big Big Ortiz. To fight your boy Tyson over there on ESPN. Um, they have options. They definitely have options. Not many. Not many. Especially how finicky us diehard fans are right now. We want to see the big fights. We want to see the big boys fight each other. And they can sell whatever they want to the casuals. But still, we will dictate the narrative was being pushed online. So they will have to do something significant. Or they'll have to set up significant matchups, I should say. So that we won't be down their motherfucking neck. <laughs> Pretty much. But congratulations to Tyson Fury on your nice deal with top rank at ESPN. Um, you definitely talked your way into deserving that. And to the fellow diehard boxing fans, let's cross our fingers and see, hope these big fights get made within the next year or two, this year or next year. I'm crossing my fingers. But yeah, that's the breaking news that I've heard. Tyson Fury signs an 80 million pound deal with top rank in ESPN. Don't keep ducking AJ though. <laughs> One love, y'all. Peace.